Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing your September 2024 overview message. Now September is going to be a spicy month for the collective. I want to make sure that all my friends, all of my followers are staying grounded. I want you to lean into your yoga routine or your spiritual practice. The new moon is going to enter Virgo on September 2nd. This is going to be a great time for organizing, for cleaning, anything that needs decluttered or anything that needs to be cleaned. One of the main changes happening this month is Uranus goes in retrograde, and this is going to happen on September 1st. Now, Uranus is the planet of progress, change, and disruptions. So I'm not trying to fear monger. I don't want you to fear anything, but I want you to look at your own life. Take a practical look at your life and see what routines can be implemented to help to align you more quickly with your goals. Focus on the things that you can control and let go of the things that you can't. On September 8th, Mercury enters into Virgo. This is one of its home planets. So this is going to be a time to really clean house. Then we have the full moon in Pisces. This is going to happen on September 17th. This is a time to look into your dreams and how you can connect your desires to your reality. All in all, when big change is on the horizon, preparation is what's going to be the key. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. That means they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating for you, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive right into Gemini's energy for the month of September. And let's see what is going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? and thank you. Definitely feel a little bit of resistance coming out here, Gemini. The underlying energy, we have the Three of Coins, the Emperor with the Five of Coins. And the Moon energy on the bottom of the deck. So this is like trying to find people to collaborate with, but feeling a loss or feeling a distance from the people that you may be trying to work with. Okay. We'll see how this all plays out into the message here, Gemini. But I definitely feel here there's changes that are happening through this process. So preparation is going to be the key. So we have the Five of Swords, the Page of Staffs, the Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles. These are the advice guidance moving forward. So we'll pull that over at the end. Again, big changes. Um, there's something here that you're focusing your energy on. Um, and it's almost like in the month of September, you're letting this go. Okay. So I don't know if this is like a business that you're focusing your attention on. Maybe this is a relationship that you've been focusing your time and attention on. Whatever it is that's been conflicting you, Five of Swords energy, this is what you're letting go in the month of 
September. So let's clarify the Five of Swords energy. And how do I know that? How do I know that this is what you're letting go? Well, we have the Page of Staffs is the next card. So this is like proceeding with caution, paying attention to all the red flags, all the warning signs. Let's clarify the Five of Swords for Gemini's energy, please and thank you. The energy that comes with this card here is like carrying all the weight. So how I perceive this is a relationship. A relationship that you are focusing your energy on trying to carry all the weight and Gemini it's like you're letting this go this person isn't mature and isn't wanting the same thing are you on the right path when you're letting this person go even though this transition has taken time I feel like everything happens for a reason and sometimes we carry this heavy burden for so long until we can't no more and i feel like that's what's coming out here it's like and the energy that i'm getting with this queen of pentacles is like maybe you're protecting your kids or you're protecting your family so maybe this has to do with the significant other who you have children with who you're distancing yourself from this person and it's hard to make that decision Now, that's not going to resonate for every single person. That's a very specific message for a very specific person. Um, but I do feel like you're letting go of a relationship that's no longer serving your highest good, your best interest. Now, through this process, this person is resisting this. Okay, so they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to walk away. And even though there may be a soul tie connection, I do feel like there's been a lot of water under this bridge. All you and this person do is fight. Okay, but part of the challenge here, why this has been so long that you've been going through this, is because of this spiritual connection between the two of you. What's coming in next, and I feel like this tower energy is associated with new beginnings. Yes, there is an ending that's happening with this particular person. But Gemini, I feel like this is your decision to walk away from this. And while you're making that decision, it's bringing in new blessings, new opportunities. New experiences that are in alignment with a better future. For some of you, this is a particular person that you've met that is a more stable, more solid, more reliable person in your life. For others of you, this has to do with work. This has to do with a career venture. This is something that's bringing in a lot of money. This is going to change the foundation of your life if that makes sense. So either this person is well-to-do or this has to do with you making more money. Take it as it resonates. Let's clarify the tower for Gemini, please and thank you. Now, if you're finding the messages helpful or resonating, guys, please give it a thumbs up. There you have it. The Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. There is a brand new beginning, new blessings that are coming in for you, Gemini. The sooner you make the shift to let this go, the better it's going to be for you. And maybe this is having to do with family, right? Maybe this is an opportunity with family that you're cultivating creating a more solid foundation for your family. So whatever it is that's causing conflict, that's causing chaos, 
calamity in your life, it's time to let it go. Let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Gemini, Ace of Staffs, Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Coins. You see new beginnings, new blessings coming in, new experiences heading your direction and divinely guided at that but when we're releasing people or job situations that really aren't in alignment with our highest good it makes space in our life for better opportunities to come in so the message is very clear here for you gemini it's time to let this go Your soul journey message coming out for your monthly reading here, Gemini, is judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenge. We are all spirit. We are all the same. It's only the roles we have chosen to play here on earth that makes us seem different. The biggest lesson you have chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in the physical dimension that it is possible to incarnate into. But the core lesson is to look past these illusions and to see yourself in everyone. Each soul has chosen its own struggles. Your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming these obstacles, but to assist that soul. Spirit has given you the tools of compassion and empathy to help you see through the eyes of those who appear different. Your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better about yourself. That is an illusion. By diminishing others, you diminish yourself. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself. Accept the lesson with love and understanding. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey, friends. So I just wanted to come on and, again, thank you for all the love and the support on... All of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey. And don't be afraid to disconnect, guys. The purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction. The channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because I feel like once you heal, you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So 
Again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.